Okay, in my last video I said that I like to represent complex numbers as vectors on the complex plane and in this video I want to show you why by demonstrating complex number addition using vectors on the complex plane. So suppose I have a complex number z is equal to 5 minus i and I have another complex number w is equal to 2 plus 3 I and I want to find the addition of 2 times Z plus the complex conjugate of W. So the first step is I want to represent 2Z on the complex plane. So uh, 2Z is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 minus I and that is equal to 10 minus 2I. So the coordinates on the complex plane are 10 minus 2. I'll complete this by drawing a vector from the origin to this coordinate. Okay, that's not too bad. Now let's represent the complex conjugate of W, which is equal to 2 minus 3i. So its coordinates are 2 minus 3. And again, I'll complete this picture with a vector from the origin to that coordinate. Now the addition of two complex numbers is exactly the same process as addition of vectors. Okay, so here's the vector 2z and here is the vector w bar and complex number addition is exactly the same as vector addition and graphically we do this by transposing this vector from the origin to the head of this 2z vector here so we are linking vectors head to tail and then finding the resultant vector so if I drew this transposition with a dotted line it would look something like this and the new head of the w vector would be here in this position at 12 minus 5 apologies this vector wasn't so good but you get the idea and to complete the picture I can draw the resultant vector from the origin to the new coordinate of 12, negative 5. So this is the resultant vector 2z plus w bar 12 minus 5i. Alright so that will do it for this video. In my next video I will introduce the polar coordinates for complex numbers so stay tuned for that and please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials to help you with your studies.